Bravo. <clears throat> I just got back from a nice little walk and really enjoyed being in the sun for a bit and walking and considering there's a new idea that came up today, or a few actually. Um, one is uh, doing a little video on a hundred ways out of infinity to say I love you. And I thought that would be fun and something fun that people around me can participate in. I think it will be really great. I also just wanted to continue sharing the story of what's been going on surrounding um, things with my family and the feelings that are heavy and way down and surrounding me asking for things bringing pain to people and overwhelm and me feeling like I am feeling like I am responsible and I want to do something but I feel like I can't so there's all these layers surrounding it that are unraveling and all of these really what seem very young young child like emotions of helplessness and things are kind of surfacing resurfacing in my body and things that I just didn't know were there <laughs> I did not know they were there and um, and I get to honor that they're showing up now and that I get to love myself in new ways. So where I probably left you was with me saying I handed in my hours to my parents, even though they were saying that they didn't have any money in their account. So uh, the next day I went into work, I was working at my sister's with some inventory stuff. And, you know, I was t talking to her about getting stuff shipped to Amazon and stuff and that we needed to make sure that there was this influx of money coming in because mom and dad probably couldn't pay me. And my cute sister, oh my gosh, I love her. It's so fun to watch her. She just immediately like came to my rescue. It was, it was so interesting to watch. She got upset and she's like, this is what I've experienced by working for mom and dad. Maybe I won't, I just won't hand in my hours and you can get paid and blah, 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 blah. And she's just being really cute about it. And, and I told her, no, we, you know, we don't have to do that. I said, I handed in my hours and I get to allow my parents to be adults and figure it out. And if there's an issue, they can come to me and we can negotiate, right? But here she is. She's so funny and so cute. Like she went over to my mom and dad and she was upset at them and talking to them. And um, it ended up that they weren't in as serious of an issue as I thought per se. They had figured something out and um, and Riley's like, Dad shouldn't call you if there's some kind of a money issue, you know. We should tell him, Dad, if there's a money issue, don't call me. <laughs> but she was just so upset because it's so funny because she's like, I've been through this myself, I know, blah, blah, blah. And during it, I was recognizing that she was really reliving her her trigger, which in a way was probably similar to mine, but not the same thing. We really weren't in the same place. I wasn't coming from the same kind of desperation or the same kind of anxiety that she was coming from, but she was so cute. She was, oh, my twin is singing right now. It's adorable. She was trying to stand up for me. She went over and talked to them. She came back and she like handed me a little bit of cash and she's like go do something fun you've been really stressed um, and I was just and at first I was like no 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 and then I was like thank you Riley you know and I gave her a hug and this was her way of 
dealing with that trigger, her wanting to show up. And I just allowed it to play out. And I felt like I was being really sneaky. And then I, I went over to my parents' house yesterday. And my dad apologized. He's like, you know, I didn't mean to stress you out with, you know, the money stuff. And, and you know, it has been a wait. It has been a wait. But I didn't, I didn't feel like I needed to, like, explain deeply what was really going on with me or anything. And, I just allowed them to go through their own process of what they're learning. And anyway, so giving them space to be who they are it was actually really magical. It was my brother who walked it through. And it's so beautiful to see me to see me embracing all of the human nature that we have and how we try to walk through it in the best way we know and me falling in love with the people around me even more and more every day in their humanness in their absolute humanness that's a real treasure for me I'm really enjoying doing that I can feel that in my heart there's this there's this weight surrounding that. I think a part of me believes that if I accept people for just who they are and love and fall in love with them, that the weight and the stuckness continues. And I'm being with that at the moment. That resistance. That resistance. And it is releasing. I love you, and I'm glad I can say that, because really, I'm also saying, I love me, I love this, and I'm saying yes. Have a beautiful day.